Well, uh, part two here. Mm -mm, Friday night. Mm, part two of a uh, uh, Friday night. Friday night. Friday night. Okay. <laughs> part two Friday night. So we just we blew through two beers the first time. So <laughs> so now we're gonna do something else. And I got my glasses now, so I can read what we got. What we got? What we got, Nancy? Mule boots. Well, you, you should go. Well, Steve, our next beer up is Mule Boot. Do that. No. no yeah, let me do that. Okay. Hey, what do we got next, Nancy? <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Mm. Because I don't do. No, oh, they're moose, not. Okay, mule. all right. So during the break, we were talking about, um, uh, you know, with all the barber shops, all the mini barber shops. We order different. Uh, uh, products and stuff, and there's there's one out in California called Suavecito that does um, hair um, pomade, pomade mm -hmm. and, and they get into a whole bunch of whole bunch of other stuff. It's really really cool company, and uh, so we 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 buy a lot of stuff from that because even though it's cool and all that, it's really good stuff. Uh, stuff really works, and so Nancy was texting with the girl back and forth there, and um, they had they had. An order was, was not quite right or something, and she said maybe they were drinking or something. And the girl had replied that um, maybe it was a mistake. No, oh, I oh. said maybe somebody had too many beers the night before. And she said, yeah, maybe we shouldn't have built a, or we shouldn't open a brewery so close to the warehouse. So, Flavacino has a brewery now. So, what was even better... Show me images of Suavecito Brewery. Here are some images of Suavecito Brewery from the web. Suavecito. Oh, wow. Suavecito. Sorry. It's not, no, these are products. Okay. Uh, so anyway, so Nancy was texting with the girl, you know, about, about the order and all that kind of stuff. And she said, uh, hey, why don't you uh, smuggle us one out? Uh, and we do it. We yeah, do. bootleg me some beer. Yeah, bootleg me some beer because, you know, me and my husband, be me, do... Uh, <laughs> Friday night beer tastings on YouTube and stuff. And so she said, you know, they text back a little about, you know, your YouTube channel, Friday night beer tasting. And so the girl, so the girl out there looked at she said, oh, I watched it. Y'all are hilarious. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so Swamp you you are on our list. Y'all are good people. We're going to make t-shirts. Yeah. We're gonna Friday, make night t -shirts. Tasting with Friday night beer tasting with Friday night beer tasting with Swamp uh, emblems on it and that kind of stuff. We're gonna. We're probably we're gonna, to get their permission. Bro. Hey, we're gonna promote y'all, okay? Y'all are gonna take off now that Friday Night Beer Tasting is behind it. Yeah. <laughs> they already took off. Yeah. No, well, we're gonna take off even more. We're gonna be even take. They're gonna be even taking offer. All right. So, what do we have tonight, Nancy? Uh, moose boots. Oh, thank you. Uh, moose but barrel aged moose boots. Hmm. Well, from Prairie Artesian Ales, uh, which we like, and um, barrel aged Imperial Stout with maple syrup, toasted almonds, and vanilla. Hmm. Maple syrup, toasted almonds, and vanilla. That sounds kind of dark and gooey, but then the vanilla may may it do something. It is a prairie. Like, yeah. Yes, yeah, Prairie. Um, uh, where's Prairie at? Um, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Oh, um, it's not Norman. It's uh, you know that other other place. You know where the wind comes zipping down the plains and all that stuff. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we're gonna have to open it up here. So fire in the hole. <laughs> It went in front of you, didn't it? It did. Uh, whoo. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, first thing you know, old Jed's a millionaire. Ken <laughs> folks said, Jed, move away from there. California is the place you ought to be. Going up to the beer at the Suave CD. <laughs> we need to mention Suave CD and everything it we do. It tastes like a typical prairie. It's, it's. I mean, it smells. Sorry. It it is. God, it is so dark. That is like. Yeah. That's like Texas oil well dark, isn't it? Texas tea. Te black gold. Moose boots. Ooh ooh. 
Ooh, come it's, it's on. Got, it's got a lot of things going on. Uh, it scared me the first, okay? I'm, I'm not over the fear yet because it is, it is very dark tasting, but it's not... Okay, there's, there's taste not it again. And it's not coffee. No. I like that. It's definitely in order. The first thing you taste is maple syrup. Then it yeah. goes to the toasted almonds. Then it goes to the vanilla. I kind of got maple syrup and then a little more maple syrup and then some mm -mm. maple Try syrup. Try it again. Maybe I'm, Hold in your mouth for a minute. Maybe I'm testing, drinking it wrong. <laughs> Yes, it goes in that order. Uh, I got maple syrup and then spare tire. Um, I got tire rubber for my next. And then you actually get the finish, like after you. Now it's now I can taste something but maple syrup. Never breathe out of your nose. It's, it's definitely maple syrup, but <laughs> it's like it's like they cooked the maple syrup a little too long. <laughs> it's not burnt, but it is. It there is, is that a split second of like it's prairie, like like it's over the top. Mm -hmm. But I can't I, I can't get over that. It's pretty good. I'll have to say. What do you think about that one warm? Ooh, I don't know about that. We'll try it. Does it got an ABV? Oh, um, well, of course it does. Let me see what it says right here. I'm trying to look at the pictures, though. Uh, what the hell? I'm, I'm, I don't know. That it's, makes no damn sense. Some moose in boots. Yeah, but then you got a, like a graffiti 90s guy. Like he's break dancing. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, on a cardboard box that they've laid out. <laughs> and they've got some spray paint and oh and a gold chain. Okay, but then look a over medallion, here. A boom box. And then you've got a construction cone. A subway. A grocery cart. Yeah, grocery cart. Uh, What's like a sewer or something? Oh no, that's a that's a record player. That's a that's a vinyl uh. vinyl record player. Huh? Yeah, I, 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 I don't I think get that's that. That's a record player. Yeah, it is. See, there, see, there's the needle up here, the arm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I don't. I'm not getting that. Uh. Anyway. I, yeah, I, I'm, I think you're gonna lose. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Chug it. I, no, I can't. Uh, -uh I can't. I'm tapping out. <laughs> Woo! You gonna try this warm? Or? Well, I, I don't want to try it now. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Suavecito. <laughs> We're going to start saying that like after every beer. All right. All right. So. Try it out. We're on the next one. Uh, oh, Pop Works. Pop Works is really up and down. Some of them are good and some of them are terrible. Um, this one is 7.5% alcohol. It is friend with two. Boats. Boats. This is a friend with two boats. Oh yeah, cause they're, cause they're, they're jet ski boats. They're wave runner boats. A jet ski boats? Or is it a jet ski? <laughs> Being driven by two unicorns. We're in sunlight. Makes sense. Passion fruit, orange juice, and coconut ale. Oh, this is, this sounds interesting. This and apparently passion fruit, orange juice, and coconut ale pretty expensive to get in the same can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying anything, but <laughs> it smells like eight dollars. <laughs> That's typical. Yeah, that's yeah, cheap actually. Oh, 
There you go. Woo! Looks like orange juice. Great. Uh, smells like, uh, what's in that passion fruit? Yep, passion fruit, orange juice, and coconut ale. Okay, I can, I can see the orange juice and the coconut ale in there. You ready? It kind of smells like perfume. It's pretty good. It's got an orange juice base to it. Um, it's got some strange combinations there. I don't like it. Okay. It tastes like perfume. It does have a perfumey, mm -hmm. perfumey taste. You remember uh, that gum you got at the, mom, at the bottom of your mom's purse? Yeah, with all the stuff on it. What you chewed through it. Because <laughs> you didn't even realize when you started chewing it, it still had a wrapper on it. Because <laughs> uh, the wrapper no. was stuck to it. Gross. Mm -hmm. this, 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 like, it almost, it wants to be flat. That orange juice base just wants to be flat, but then it's got all this other stuff like sprinkled on top of it. Um, ah! <laughs> no. What the hell? <laughs> I thought that's like all the. You can. I'm, I'm serious. You can really taste the like it's just going to be straight orange juice, no fizz, no nothing, just orange juice. And then all of a sudden, it's got all this stuff running around it. It's not that complicated to me. Well, hey, you got to fix that because it's like you don't shaking understand. and moving around. Well, I don't think it'll show that when we when we show it when it records because it's got this like <clears throat> anti gravity thing, anti shake shake thing, shake shake shake. You don't like it? Not really. It's not my fave. Okay. And, I, and I've become a Pipeworks fan. You have, yeah. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to... Oh, you didn't drink yours? No, I didn't. I didn't. I'm going to ditch you out on that one, too. God. Listen, we <clears> don't <throat> have to can crush every beer. No, but have. what's in your cup, the rule is you drink it. Well, it's more of a guideline than a rule. Do you want to put this back in? Yeah, put it in. We'll, we'll taste it again in a minute. <clears throat> Uh, what else happened today? Nothing. Oh, there's a lot of stouts in here. <laughs> oh, oh God. <laughs> uh, let's do another pipe works. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I can I can only get what I could get. Mm -hmm. That's fine. <laughs> another eight dollar beer. <laughs> um, double vanilla phantom. Barrel aged imperial stout unicorn, twelve point three percent. So, I kind of like that label. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. Uh, this has barrel aged imperial stout with vanilla, lactose, and cacao nibs. See, I learned that from last week. <laughs> cacao. <laughs> cacao. Uh, <laughs> Pop works. Tales from the Oak. Well, that's kind of cool. And the art is by Eric Lundquist. Eric Lundquist. I know your mom is proud of you. You <laughs> scribbled that up in study hall one day, didn't you? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, after seeing that, <laughs> after seeing that, and we watched we watched part of Napoleon Dynamite the other night. The, if they somebody don't come out with with a lager beer, oh boy, a lager, it's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, they probably have. Oh, here, God. don't look the other way. I've already seen it. It's, I, it's things I can't unsee. <laughs> I swear this was the only new beer. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not complaining about anything. All right, are we, are we ready? Well, hang on. Okay. Hang on.
You know, when people are blind, their other senses are very enhanced, so I'm sure my taste buds are going to be yeah. extremely You enhanced. might want to wait a minute on that one. <laughs> Actually, no. That one you need to drink now. This one? Yeah. Okay, you ready? It's, it's, it's pretty intense, but the back end of it's pretty good. It's the cacao. You're about ready to hit those. <laughs> Woo, that intensifies in a hurry. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it starts out dark, you know, like a like a regular imperial stout. Uh, and you think it's going to... Actually, most of the stouts, I think, kind of flatten out. This and it like, is a 12, every bit of 12.8. 12, 12. Oh, yeah, 8. absolutely. That's close to a 13. And that would be 26 proof, not... <laughs> 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 Woo! God, that's 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 for grown ups right there. I don't know that I'm grown that much. Liv, I I get that people love that, just love that dark. Uh, no, don't get me wrong. I like, like this taste. Yeah. Okay, but. When you first swallow it, man, it is like punches you in your nose. Mm -hmm. It's this. I mean, look at those features on that thing. That's what it is. God. <laughs> yeah, but this is the thing that's going to catapult you into a buzz. Well, I'm, I'm, maybe. Chug it. Maybe. Drink, chug it like a drink, chug it like a drink, chug it like a. <laughs> Here's to Brother Steve, he's with us tonight. So drink, drink, chug, like a drink. Oh. Like <laughs> uh, God. You're going to be a lot more funnier the next video. <laughs> if I'm not throwing well, up. If you, like, cooperate and chug it. Here's to fun. <laughs> Uh, I know my nose is getting stopped up <laughs> being outside. That's from all the pollen. Jeez. Uh, oh, let's talk about when you came down to the Bailey Cove shop today and the cop stopped you. Oh, yeah. So yeah. there's there's a really, really, really nice steakhouse. Is it the end of the... It's, a, it's Italian. Okay, whatever, but they Nicks. specialize in steaks. Nicks. It's the best place in the What are you doing here? How long have <laughs> you been before you came back over here? Come on in here and let me sit you down. Okay, so yeah, Nick's Restaurante, <laughs> which is a really, 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 really nice place. <laughs> Who are you fooling? Who are you My been? family, it's your family. Yeah. So... Yeah, and, and, yeah. Okay, so anyway, so Nick's, yeah, Italian uh, steakhouse. And then you got the Redneck Pool Hall next yeah, to and, us. Yeah, and then you got Chips, chips and, and salsa, salsa on the other side, which, d uh, no it's kidding. It's not have, a Mexican restaurant. Like, when you no. walk in, they have Mexican food. They have but chips and salsa, which. <laughs> the owner's is, super nice. Yeah, and now he is Mexican, and he, he yeah. is, he's super nice, really nice guy. Um, but they, they are like the pool place if you want to go play pool in Huntsville that is like the premier place because they've got like 30 pool tables no kidding they have like 30 pool tables in there and so they have these big tournaments all the time uh, and they'll have a weekend I remember when we were opening the shop they said uh, hey yeah you can't you can't have a dumpster out here because we're gonna do some demo uh, on this weekend because that's our pool tournament weekend. And, and it's so weird because... Everything is... Like at 5 o'clock, it turns very white-collar people. They got their own pool stick. Oh, everybody that gets out of the car in the parking lot has their own pool at stick. At 5 o'clock? Yeah. But anyway... Except for tonight. Yeah. So so apparently this weekend is one of their big pool tournament weekends. And so... Uh, and Friday night is big for Nick's. Yeah. And so now Nick's always has, and I've noticed the signs like behind the buildings is, you know, parking only for Nick's and all this kind of stuff. So, so I pull in this, this evening, I was coming in there to take out the trash 
and uh, <laughs> basically my job. <laughs> I sweep when I need to, and then I take out Whatever. the trash. And if something is broken, I fix it. So yeah. anyway, well that's and then I run the rest of it. So. I, that's pretty much the way it works there, and that's uh, so anyway. It's like you live in your best life there, so, bro. <laughs> I keep you in line. Uh, <laughs> And so I pull in, I pull in the parking lot down there, and I'm like, "Oh my god!" Because I know there's people parking across the street, um, just <laughs> everywhere. Uh, cars are parked everywhere, and so I and pull up there. There's a bunch of bunch of rednecks outside smoking. Yeah, yeah. And so I know the um, the spots in front of our shop were you know taken. And then there's a couple of handicapped spots, and then they had a bunch of open ones. And so I pulled on down there, and I'm like. All I'm going to do is pick up the trash and go. And so I pull into the, the spot and I get out and I start walking in. And I heard, and I hear, uh, sir, excuse me, sir, excuse me. And I turn around and it's a cop. And so he's walking up to me and he's got, you know, body armor on and police crosshair and all. And uh, he said, uh, are you going to Chips and Salsa? And I said, no, I'm going to the barbershop right here. He goes, barbershop? I go, yeah. You know, there's a, a barbershop right there, Bullfeathers Barbershop, downtown Madison, Westside, Huntsville, and Bay <laughs> Co. No. Oh and so I said, no, I, I, I own the barbershop <clears throat> there, and I'm basically coming down here to take out the trash. <laughs> and so he said, oh, you're, you're good. He said, uh, it's just that uh, Nick's, you know, these are theoretically, uh, you know, for Nick's. Uh, here this this evening, they got a they got a bunch of stuff going on. So they had hired a cop to sit out in the parking lot and police the people trying to get their parking spots. Uh, and like I say, there were there were people parked across the street. There was people parked everywhere. Um, and I told them, I said, well, I'm I'm here to pick out the trash. And they said, You're good, go on now. I said, I'll only be here in a minute. So anyway, so he was real nice. And uh, but yeah, I mean they were. They were loaded. That, that that place right now has got to be rocking right now with pool players and that kind of stuff. So yeah. anyway, all right, so that's part, you know, whatever. No, wait, this one this was probably the best pool stick holder I've ever seen. This redneck pulls up and he gets out and he's like, you know, looking in his trunk and there's like all kinds of shit, you know, stag beer cans and <laughs> <laughs> That's in not Missouri, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Keystone Light. <laughs> yeah. And he pulls out, you know, his pool stick case. And then he's got it on his shoulder and he bends down in his trunk to get something else. At the bottom of it is Rebel Flag. There you go. There you go. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> anyway, all right, so that's that's part, you know, whatever that is. 